This is the one. This is where they say the treasure will be. This cyclist just tried to cycle past and the other girl got in the way and I cut off. <laughs> Yes, there has been. Where? In the room. Show us. Show us. <laughs> right, cool. <Right. laughs> Johnny Appleseed, thank you for joining us in the green room today. Um, we are really excited that you'll be on the canvas for this show. Oh, and uh, we just want to know what are you thinking about bringing to it as an actor? <laughs> That's a ridiculous question, <laughs> because oh. what won't I be bringing? <laughs> <laughs> well said, we're all very excited that you'll be on the show. And I think it's fair to say you are the headliner, you are the star in the night sky, oh, well. you are the leading light in exactly. this film. Exactly. Apart from bringing the uh, raw acting talent and the sheer grittiness and tastiness and crispiness, yeah. uh, you know, I will be there and everyone will, you know, flock to see Johnny Appleseed in lights. Listen up, Jets. There's been a murder. Listen up, Jets. There's been a murder in this very house. And now you look red. <laughs> There's been a murder in this oh. very house. Oh. And I'm holding every one of you as suspects. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, Jamie, just shut it all out. Shut up! Shut! shut. <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> now I will rest, and neither will new character. <laughs> <laughs> now I want you all to split up and look for clues. Let me get out! No! Oh, get out! Open the door! Okay. Ah! Are you rich? I'm the first one! Go for me! Me, I'm dead! Oh, you! Me! Yes! Ah! Listen up, gents. There's been a murder in this house, and I'm holding every single one of you suspects. Now, new character and I will not rest until we get to the bottom of this. <laughs> now, all of you, split up and look for clues. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go over Step out! I'm just gonna get over here. Quickly! Mr. McQueen, uh, thank you for joining uh, it's, us. Uh, just call me Sam, please. Okay, Sam. Um, uh, thank you for joining us in the green room today. We just wanted to express our excitement that you'll be joining the All Star cast. Um, how does it feel to be working along the likes of Johnny Appleseed and? Uh, oh yeah, he's uh, going to be in one of the leading roles. 
No. And my agent, my agent said it would be like big people. Uh, oh well, yeah, uh, yeah, really excited. Um, I guess. Well, we're used to seeing the, the leading role, Sam, of uh, Pure Fear and Pure Fear 2, how can we forget? You've always played the, the bad guy, the scary character, the, the evil monkey face, the face, indeed. How do you think you're going to portray your role in this film? Um, well, I've been, um, I've been kind of, I locked myself away uh, in like this, this motel room for this role uh, for the past two months to kind of like get like in the headspace of, uh, of this character um, because that's what I find uh, a lot of genuine real actors do um, to like properly portray like you, you get these people you get your, like your Johnny Appleseeds or whatever they are and I can imagine he would just turn up to it uh, not prepared and it, it would just it's just gonna be a shabby job uh, but with me you get like 100% uh, dedication uh, fact. So yeah, while we fact. see in actors like Johnny Appleseed who come to uh, their performance with some raw, dynamic, sexual passion, you're a scientific actor. Yes. You, you bring cold, calculating, yeah. steely acting ah. to this show. Mm. That's just fascinating. Yeah. Just here, uh, filming Pure Fear 3. Honestly, shut up. I'm really excited. <laughs> you better be too! <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Josh McWilliams. Why? New member of the cast. Should we good? But I'm not a new character. Yeah, it's behind the scenes. I've been doing some like amazing performances so far. Yeah. What I've been filmed. Yeah. Really, really good. good. Really good. It's all been good. Uh, it's all been good stuff. Yeah. Um, should we do a bit of improv? Let's go for it. While we wait. Um, what's the scene, Joe? Um. Uh huh. So you're in a in a bedroom. 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 Yeah. And easy. So easy. Does all your clothes fall off? And all my clothes oh, fall off. Right. Okay. Um, just Sam's? Or oh, everyone else's? Uh, well, let's see where this scene takes us. Okay. <laughs> uh, whoa! Oh whoa. my god! Hey, what happened to all your clothes? Oh, they just fell off. What on earth? I know. Oh no, I can't. Cover that up! I, was, I can't. I can't. Why are you doing that with your hands? It's so big. It's why, so... why are you doing that with your hands, Sam? I'm not up. Stop it. I don't know. I was just trying to cover to, to my cover uh, He's completely his naked. His Stop it! Oh, oh no, I'm god. naked! Oh, oh no! God. That's so embarrassing! Oh my oh, god! No, no. Don't. No one touch him! Everybody just uh. keep your eyes above other people's eyes. What? And Stop. then. But oh, you won't my see. oh my god! A, oh my god! A, oh my god! Okay! Oh, 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 You can see it. Oh my god! We can all see it. Oh my god! Your nipples are peculiar. Ah ha ha They're they're clown shaped. Hey, Joel, touch Sam. I've got a gun. He's naked as well. Oh, I can see your gun now. He's got a gun. Oh no! Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. He's naked. He's got a gun. Oh my god! What's he gonna do? Oh what? Don't do anything. He's gonna shoot him. I'm uh, shaking because I'm scared. Uh, he's going to shoot him. Uh, if you shoot him, uh, we'll all get our clothes oh, back. No, 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 shoot him. No, 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 I don't want to shoot him. Shoot him. No, shoot him. Wait, you've knob, knob. Oh, wait. Shoot him. Take the bloody shot. Ah, oh my god. I didn't shoot him because it's so tense. There's no ammo in it. No. Cock it. Has anyone got a cock opener? Cock it. Shoot him in the armpit. You guys suck, man. No. Oh, got it. Got it. Shoot him. All at once. Bye bye, uh, Sam. You're going uh, to. Oh, no! Oh, oh, no. oh, oh you're short, Morris. It's supposed to die. Bad scene. Bad oh, <laughs> scene. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. It's like Christmas. It's oh, cold. Oh, Early. Oh. oh! Do it. Oh, no. He's, He's dead. He's dead. He's watching Finding Nemo. Wherever you are, Joel, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Jude, or as the paparazzi like to call you, uh, Jude Gardi R. Welcome to the green room. Thank you for joining us. I know you're quite busy filming the new Pure Fear. Three. Indeed, I am. How are you feeling about this new film? Someone thought that two. I'm excited. I'm excited. You don't think it's too far? I'm excited. I'm. I'm just really excited. You're, you're very. We're, we're really excited as well. Good. What Good. do you think? As a veteran of the Pure Fear franchise, you will be bringing to this particular kindness, kindness. just love and kindness. I just feel my character, my presence is just so big and loud. And I mean, it's not all about me, but it should be all about me because 
Well, yeah. You can. Yeah. Well, certainly, Liam, you're quite famous for your uh, your shriek from the first fear for movie. Yeah. Do you think that you'd be bringing kindness? Would be bringing any fear to the movie? And if so, will it be pure fear? It'll be pure love. I think everybody, we've got pure fear going, but it's not all about fear, is it? No one, you go to a horror movie, you don't want pure fear. You want a bit of love. That's an exciting in, you know, interpretation of the movie. You can wear my tattered shirt. I can wear my own one. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, at this time, um, I'm becoming Penguin Head. Uh, behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah. Anything you want to know about me while I'm getting changed, because uh, I have a bit of spare time. Any behind the scenes stuff, gossip. Ask us a question. Ask Paul. us a question, Joe. Is it hot in the head? Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes, it, uh, sometimes. Hmm. Yeah. Where is that cloak from? Uh, this is from uh, Cambridge. Um, Cameron, as well as being an actor, is also studying um, ancient literature uh, at Cambridge. He loves uh, it. He loves it. Um, he wears this cloak uh, during his uh, sexual encounters, as is the lot. Cambridge way. Okay. Uh, they, you can buy them in freshers, and then uh, it's like a, the law to a... Uh... Oh, come in, Chris. Come in. Oh, sorry. Would you like to film Chris's death scene? Um, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so. Looking forward to it, Chris? Oh, well, yeah, as I said. This is the, uh, uh, yeah. Really One of my favourite scenes, for sure. Um, it's not, it's oh. not my favourite. So this is kind of the uh, thing we're looking at. Uh, oh, it's it's a, oh, mm. Head of a penguin. See, the jump is quite, uh, quite, you can notice that it's me. Mm. We don't want that. Okay. Here's a classic Sam jumper. It isn't it's not the classic Sam jumper, but... It's not, no. Um, Stripes. You like stripes? Mm. I do. And speckles. Mm. Yeah. Like I do like stripes, so yes, you are correct. Yeah. Um, anything else? You know for back to scenes? Um, who's like your Yeah. Who's your favourite actor on the set? <sighs> on the set, apart from myself? Yeah. Um, tough one. Um, well both these both these lads are good. Interesting, yeah. 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 That's, that's right. Thanks. It's, um, it's nice to be in a in a production with this kind of pedigree really. There's a great uh, cast. I, yeah. No, you know, cast. so many talented people on set, it's just kind of bounce off each it's other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you who's the worst. Morgan. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, you can agree with me there. He's got some ego, you that would, boy. You know, yeah, well, if you look at everyone, you would say you would say he was the worst. Yeah, but. he's weak. He's definitely he's weak. weak an actor. I yeah. think he's only here because he knows the director. Mm. Um, I think he's going out with it. His daughter or something. I don't know. Incest. Yeah, it's yeah, so weird. Yeah, yeah, um, it's no, it's one of the things you don't mention. Yeah, so, Hector Bainbridge, welcome to the green room. Thank uh, you. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. I understand you travelled quite far to join us. Uh, I've come from a long way. I've come from Skerti, actually. Have you? Oh, thank you. Well, I know it's you've been working on a few other projects, uh, such as the the upcoming soap opera uh, based in World War II, Japan. It's difficult, um, it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, so I, it's a playing a Japanese soldier as well. As well. Yeah. Guys, guys, Inspector Cameron and Josh are dead. What? Oh, Inspector no. Cameron and Josh are dead. How do you know? I saw. Oh. But that means one of you three is the murderer. I'm gonna say Joe. It's Joe, and it? it's so Joe. <laughs> it probably would be Joe. Look at that face. Ah, yeah. Look at that face. It's probably him. Sorry, Joe, mate. Oh no, I don't want. Ah. No, don't worry. Don't hey. Come but sit. one of you sit. But it could be you as well, you character. I don't. It's look at his face. Me yeah. as a killer. Mm. Don't be silly. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Okay. <laughs> so do we think it's Joe? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Come on, mate. We true. know it's you. Give it up. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the detective now. I say it's Joe. Okay. <laughs> it's going to go downstairs. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> and in this film, do you think you're going to be portraying fear as pure? Is it going to be a different sort of fear that you'll be bringing to the movie? Well, I, 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 I always plan to keep my, uh, my acting style a bit different. Uh, sometimes it's pure fear, sometimes it's 
uh, true fear, sometimes mm. it's just pure, raw fear, you know? Yeah. You know, and that's, that's, that's how you get, that's how you get it, you know? Well, well Sam, I, I feel afraid just talking to you, so I think yeah. I'll conclude the interview there. Well, thank you very much for joining us in the green room, and uh, good luck with the film. Yeah, yeah okay. Thanks. Hey, man, where are you going? Are you okay? Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, um. Hey, whoa, whoa! What do you want me to do? Oh my god, stairs though. You're gonna be okay? Fuck. Um, um the. the mon. The, the, the stairs, the, the. it was new character, the murderer was new character. Oh my god. And I'm god. on my deathbed! Oh my. God. It's. Can we do that again, please? <laughs> What do you think it will be like working with uh, some of the other regulars on this, like uh, Johnny Appleseed and Sam Martin? Well, between you and me, Sam Martin is a hard ass. Um, so I don't really see eye to eye to him. I don't really like him. He's all about him. It's all about me. And I mean, Johnny Appleseed. Where would I be without him? God stage, go on, come on, get up here, get up here. Well, this is oh, a, get up here. It's a regular, but we've got an interview with both Johnny Appleseed and Judy Carpenter. <laughs> this is quite exciting. Hiya! I live for this match. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Hiya. You're up, get So, you two have been friends for a long time. Um, you were both friends before you got famous, uh, back in acting school. Yeah, 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 back when I was just called Morgan Murphy. Yeah, or, yeah. Um, and here you are today. Who would have thought, thought it? You've both changed a lot. Morgan Drew Frebs. Yeah. Sorry? You have changed a lot from when you first started, do you feel? I don't know about that, but uh, we look, we look exactly, exactly, I think we look exactly the same. Well, because um, I know the paper's been splashing a lot around about uh, Johnny's uh, addiction to uh, the Pringles. Hey, look, we're not talking about that today. I, I, I don't mean to bring it up. I age from Sunny I don't fucking know that. Well, uh, okay. You're not meant to know. Look, can we just can we just move on? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, we'll move, on. we'll move on. How do you both feel this film will end? Have you read the It will end in passion. Yeah? Well you might think so. I think no. so. Huh. Oh. Dodge. Dodge. Oh. I mean, you're gonna dodge them all, right? So I'll yeah, go that first, then like that, <laughs> and I'll just swing fuck loads of punches, so and then all of you need to do is just go start once like that. Be like, oh. <laughs> We're quite happy that you'll be here. However, we and we've seen the script and uh, a couple of pointers. One is that. You won't be there for long. How do you feel about being the first to be killed off? I'm the first to be killed off? Yes. Yes. We thought you knew that one. I, I signed up for this. I'm the first to be killed What? What is this? Um, no, no, no. No, it's just, we did no. some script. Um, no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm done. No? I'm done. Are you sure? Hector. I'm done. Hector, no. Piss off, Hector. He was punched punch in the face, bitch. Ready? Three, two. Concentrated. Three, two, one. No! Yeah, keep that all in. <laughs> I'm fan. And, you know, me as a personal fan, and uh, not to mention all the paparazzi, I've been picking up on your change in appearance for this movie. Yes, yes. Well, I felt that uh, the character of Morgan would need, would need to have had a, you know, well, he's gone through a lot. So yeah. In the, uh, you know, in the first, in the first Pure Fear installment, we, we grasp a sort of, a sort of, you know, recluse, sort of Morgan character. He doesn't really, you know, he, he gets along every now and then with the rest of the characters in it. But, um, you know, towards the end he realises that his friends are gone. You know, they've been taken by this monkey ghost this character. Yeah. The, you know, this, this vicious monkey character. And then um, in the second one, he, you know, he's missing his friends and then he's reunited with them. And you really get a nice sort of glimpse at the character there. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's changed, you know. The deaths of his friends have just changed him. He's had to grow. And at the end of Pure Fear 2, you know, we get, he, he's jumped by the face, and you know, you don't know, it's a cliffhanger, you never know what, what could have happened to him. 
in this story, in this sort of, in this, in this way, he has escaped. For me, I always feel like the Johnny Appleseed, the Morgan of Peer Fear 2, was a naive Morgan. He was innocent. And yeah. now we're seeing an isolated Morgan. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to lay anybody close to him. He is. He's nervous, but he doesn't want to show it. Yeah, he goes well, on the attack. I, I'm the character, okay? So I'll decide what he does. If you can just... Yeah, oh, just drops his yeah. yeah. shot. Shot him on. Yeah. It's really exciting. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, that's a wrap. We've wrapped it up. Yeah. We've finished. Joel, how do you feel round. as the director of wrapping this film? I feel delighted. I'm so excited to get it all edited with the boys. You know, it's with been. With the boys! With the boys! It's been an absolute pleasure. Cast up. Excellent actors. I just saw. I'm sorry. 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 I'